Hey, it's Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews, and welcome to NEBR, New England Beer Reviews, a limited edition from Magic Hat of South Burlington, Vermont. This is their We Heavy Champ, a We Heavy Scotch Ale, with an alcohol by volume of 8.0% ABV. And I guess this is a one-off edition, or it says limited edition on there, so it's the first time I've seen it, and, well, We Heavies and Scotch Ales are right up there in my top five styles, along with... Uh, Abbey Ales along with Porters and Stouts, and uh, so I'm going to dig right into this one and check it out. Magic Hat, of course, I've had a few of their beers, I've reviewed several of their beers here on my channel, and there's always this kind of funky yeast character about them, no matter what style they do, so I'm open, considering We Have These are a favorite style of mine, that that is not quite as evident. Oh, there's something written on here. Let's see. They have some little words written underneath the bottle cap, as you may or may not be able to read that, because it's pretty tiny. And I don't have my glasses on, but it says, Never make a sandcastle before high tide. Sounds like a Chinese fortune to me. Okay, let's give it a pour. I do not have a thistle glass. I wish I did have a thistle glass. I browse around, see if I can find them in flea markets and things like that. I think if I really want to get one, I'm going to have to break down and order one someplace from... An online or some place that specializes in glassware. So here is the pour. And holy smoke, does that have some aroma? <laughs> Not smoky aroma, but it's got some malty aroma. But I'll get to that in a moment because I want to talk about the pour first. Definitely a nice ruby red hued, uh, darker brown color. Definitely more of a reddish tone than anything. With this uh, tan head up top. It's a, a soft, uh, kind of mellow, silky sort of head up top. Aroma. I already talked about it for a moment, but the malt character is as strong as I like it to be when it comes to a wee heavy or a scotch ale. I love that really sweet malt character of the style. It's kind of what makes it for me. Not quite as much on the peat moss side because that's another sort of character that you pick up a lot in scotch ale, sort of a, a mossy character. There's a really low hop profile, but I am getting a slight... Um, I am getting sort of a slight resiny kind of uh, hop character back there, but it's really the malt sweetness that's taking center stage on this one. And maybe even just a slight hint of chocolate too. Hmm. Okay, time to dig into the flavor. Oh, that's a pleasant tasting beer. And yay, I'm not getting that sort of magic hat yeasty character I often get. I'm getting a really more of a, of a malt character up front in the flavor, the sweetness, malt sweetness, and just the mildest of bitterness. Their website says it had 30 international bittering units, so that's kind of on the low side. But Scotch Ales, for those who, uh, I know a lot of people that watch my reviews are pretty much know a lot about beer already, so I don't go into a lot of explanations, but if you have never had a Scotch Ale before, a lot of Scotch Ales are very malty, malt forward. And sweet like this one is and the hop character is usually very low to almost non-existent hmm. the body is medium to heavy uh, sort of a slight acidity to it though still got the heaviness but it's not as smooth as scotch ales I like it's got more of a bite and that might be part of the mild hop bitterness and it's sort of an acidic kind of uh, character in here as well. Mm. Tasty beer though, a really tasty beer. The 8% alcohol is fairly well muted. I'm not picking up any kind of booze. Didn't get any on the nose, not getting any in the flavor. Um, but this is the 650 milliliter bottle, the bomber. So once I finish it, I bet my head will pick up some of that 8% at the end of this bottle. So. I'm going to go away and enjoy the rest of this beer on my own, and I really think it's a decent beer. Uh, one of the better ones I've had from Magic Hat in a while, so I'll give it that. Um, and I'm not going to criticize, because I like Magic Hat for the most part, but sometimes their beers just have this yeasty character that I can't quite define, almost vegetable oil type thing or something. And this is not like that, and that's one of the reasons I'm putting this one higher up on my Magic Hat to drink list. So that will do it for now. This is Magic Hat Wee Heavy Champ.
So thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you again next time.